Good afternoon, Stars Mill. This is Daniel Stackhouse with Coach's Corner, the segment where we interview Stars Mill's coaches. This week, I'm here with head coach of the swim team, Coach Huggins. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good to have you on the show. Thanks for first having all, me. First of all, let's get right into it. Just like, give me a quick rundown of how the past two meets have gone for you guys. Um, we've won both meets, girls and boys. Um, first weekend was against Fayette and Sandy Creek. Girls won big, boys won big, got some state um, qualifying times. Last weekend we did our first big invitational. Um, it's the big splash. There were 21 teams. Again, girls finished first and so did boys. Um, got some more state times, got kids dropping time every event. So it's been good two weeks. So what I want to ask is like how did, how does these how do these performances line up with what you guys have been preparing to work for? Well, the first goal we always have every year is to try to repeat as county champions. And, you know, we have won the last 19 years in a row, so it's not like there's any pressure or anything. But our first goal is always to try to repeat as county champions. So that'll be um, towards the end of January. And then past that, we try to qualify as many kids as we can for state so that we can do our very best at the state meet. But um, like I said, we've gotten we've got several kids. All six of our relays have already qualified into the state meet. We've got several swimmers that have gotten individual events that have qualified them. So we're out, off to a really good start. We just need to maintain this momentum into January. And so let's talk about some of the players. First of all, Ben Pfeiffer. He recently commit he recently committed to Yale. Yes. So how do you feel about him being able to commit and go to the next level? Just about him as a swimmer. Um, first of all, Ben as a as a young man, is just he's just a great guy. He is the epitome of team player, um, and and contributes at all levels to our team. You know, cheering for his teammates, working hard in practice. Um, ben has worked probably since before high school, but I've seen the last you know three years and into his senior year, Ben has swam year round. Um, he has performed very well in the swim pool. Um, qualifying for junior nationals outside of high school swim and he also does great things in the classroom you know a school like Yale wants to have good athletes but you've got to be a good student as well so he brought um, both things to the table I'm super excited for him because I know this was a goal of his um, when he came into high school was to, co to compete um, on the next level so we're coach Abrams and I are really excited to um, get to see what he does next year so let's kind of talk about let's talk about some of the people that qualify for state. How do you feel about the, that group of people? Um, we're really excited. Um, the, all the kids um, who have qualified went to state with us last year, so there's some experience there. Um, some of the sophomore girls, um, sophomore boys that you know we, we're lucky we get to take um, some freshmen with us every year to state, so that they kind of get a feel for it. Um, Seth Roach swam last year in um, two individual events, two relays at state. Elena Burroughs swam a um, couple of events at state last year. And Kenzie Tucker um, as a sophomore, I mean, uh, qualified as a freshman to state. So we'll have those coming back. But we also have our upperclassmen. We have Michael Tucker, who's a junior, um, who will be swimming. Um, his sister Kenzie is a sophomore. Avery McFadden and Lauren Presley who were um, standouts their freshman and sophomore season. They're really the leaders of our team as, as juniors. We, we have some seniors as well, um, but those are the two that are swimming the fastest and putting in the times. Between Lauren, Avery, and then Kenzie Tucker and Elena Burroughs, we, um, we have four fast girls leading off for us. And so who do you think, are, who are some of the swimmers that have been able to come in and really shock you? Um, I Shock in a good way. Um, Elena Burroughs um, worked really hard in the spring. She was um, running track and then over the summer and in the preseason and she's put on some muscle, she's bulked up a little bit and she is dropping crazy time. Um, so that's always exciting. She qualified in the 100 back Saturday um, at our meet. And um, we've got quite a few of the boys who, they're not dropping huge amounts of time, but every meet they're getting faster. And so it's always fun to see see that. And that's what they do, you know, that we worked out preseason, you know, for the kids who don't swim year round, they may swim in the summer, you know, in a neighborhood swim program, but really they come to us in August. We do about 12 weeks of strength conditioning and then we get right in the pool. So those kids that, you know, started in August have a big head start on a lot of the kids that just got in the pool in October. So who do you think are some of the swimmers that 
maybe not qualified yet, but still on your radar, and you think that are able to break out soon? Um, Maddie Bacon, who's a sophomore, is really close to qualifying in the 100 breaststroke. She's made some big improvements in her time since last year. Um, Tommy Roach, one of our seniors, is really close to making some state qualifying, uh, making a state qualifying time. So we really want Tommy to do that. Um, we've got on the boys' side. You know, Ben's already qualified. Michael's already qualified. Um, we've got um, Simon Sayani is really moving in the water this year. So we, I have a feeling that we have probably six or eight more individuals to qualify before um, January. That'll be fun. So how do you, so like as we were saying earlier, you got, you're working for a 20th Street Region Championship. How do you, how do you feel about how, what this team needs to do and how they can achieve this? Um, really, our kids need to do what they've been doing the last couple of weeks and, I mean, excuse me, yeah, the last couple of meets um, since we started in October. And really what our teams have done consistently over the last six or seven years since I've been coaching and that's just swim every event to the best of your ability. We've got some kids that are really fast. We've got some kids that are that kind of that B level group of kids that contribute um, points. And it, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's all about who can score the most points. Yes, we have you know our A kids that are our top four swimmers, but we need those next four and the next four after that too. We are blessed with some really good depth this year, and uh, I think that'll. The, you know, as long as the kids continue to improve and work hard, I think the momentum should take us into the county championship. So let's talk about looking ahead. You got you got this Friday against Magnetosh. You got a couple other meets after that. How do you feel about how what do you, what's on your mind? Um, Macintosh used to be used to have a lot of really strong swimmers like we do. We're lucky we have a core group of year-round swimmers. Um, that help and Macintosh has kind of lost that over the last couple of years. They're getting some of that back, which means they'll, you know, they'll be give us a little bit more competition. We like that. You know, it's fun to win meets, but it's also fun to get pushed by the person in the lane beside you, and uh, knowing that you have to swim your hardest, that you can't just go out there and do it halfway and still win. Um, so we're looking forward to this Friday night. You know, it's Macintosh. We always want to be Macintosh. What can we say? Um, we'll go to LaGrange the weekend we come back after um, Thanksgiving break. There will be probably 15 or 20 or so teams there. Again, there's always one or two swimmers um, on some team that are going to push our kids. And that's what we need. We need to be pushed through December because we take a couple weeks off for Christmas. And then we really start coming back in January. So as long as the kids continue to do what they're supposed to do, I think we're going to be easily win McIntosh, beat McIntosh on Friday night and hopefully we'll uh, bring some trophies home from the LaGrange meet in December. I think that's all I have today. Thank you very much for Thanks your time. Thanks so much. And thank you for viewing. If you want to support your swim team, they're going to be at Kedron this Friday taking on McIntosh. They love your support. That's all we have once again from Coach Huggins and the terrific Thomas Cindy behind the camera. I'm Daniel Stackhouse. Cheers, fellas. Go Panthers!